Hello, fellow wargamers and history buffs. Today, I am bringing you a technology update. Um, most of you who follow the channel know that I am a bit of a Luddite. I teach fencing, I teach archery. Um, that's because I think that those are tried and true things. This whole gunpowder stuff, it's all Johnny come lately. I think it's just a fad. We'll be done with it and go back to what worked for thousands of years any day now. But when something kind of cool and interesting comes along, I feel it's only my duty to share it with you, particularly when I think it will enhance your wargaming uh, fun and enjoyment. So stay tuned. Here's what's up. So today we are looking at a I guess it's a service or an app that's part of uh, Google called Notebook LM dot Google. So it's actually something you can open up in your browser. And if you have a Google account um, that is through perhaps um, a Gmail account, um, you'll be able to access this. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, what it allows you to do is to upload uh, source material. And so for me and for us as wargamers, uh, what's some source material that we have? Uh, rules, right? So in this particular example, I uploaded the rules uh, for Premier Labatai. Um, and so this is, I think, the one that I downloaded from their website. It's uh, dated from July of 2022. And once you have your source material uploaded, and it could be uh, rules, it could be articles, it could be websites. There's all kinds of different things that you can have as source material. Um, let's see if there's anything here that kind of shows us. Yes, you can have different uh, documents, slides, website, YouTube, uh, copied text. These are all potential things that you could then upload. Uh, and then what's going to happen is you select then that source material and then the um, AI is going to allow it to be sifted and things like that. So one of the things that I did first off with this is that it has some default things that you can do. Um, one of the default things that it has here is like a frequently asked questions, study guide, table of contents, timeline, briefing document. So what are some of those things that um, you can do, you select one of those, and it's going to come up with something like this. Let's see if we can, here, we'll close that down again. So uh, here is the um, study guide, and it's got questions uh, as if it's, as if it's a study guide for, you know, uh, weathering heights or something like that. What's the significance of zones of influence? How does terrain affect line of sight? And then it's got the quiz answer questions. Zones of influence represent the area control of combat unit exerts. Terrain features like villages, woods, sometimes slopes can block line of sight. It's got all this interesting stuff here, right? Essay questions, right? Well, maybe if I assign you guys homework, this is where you I'd go to find essay questions for you. Glossary of terms. It just pulled all of this just whoop, right out of the system, uh, right out of the document, poof, just like that. Um, the briefing document. Uh, basically says, okay, there's the date, author, Marshall Enterprises, introduction, Labatai is a grand tactical war game simulating Napoleonic warfare at a core level. It emphasizes historical accuracy and playability, capturing the intrigue and symphonic dynamics inherent to Napoleonic battles without getting bogged down in overly complex rule sets. Right, so this is the, the description that it pulls from. And then it's got player overview, key concepts, uh, combat mechanics, special rules, uh, design philosophy, key quotes, and conclusion, right? And it took like, you know, maybe 10 seconds for the system to come up with this. Um, and then the, one of the other defaults is a frequently asked questions. So here are some frequently asked questions. What happens with unit stacking exceeds the hex? Can artillery units unlimber? So it's just pulling all of this stuff zip right from the rules and kind of creating it. Now, you can then put in your own questions. Um, so, for example, I put in a question which was, 
what is the sequence for a cavalry charge. And so it then pulled through, here's the, at the beginning, the charge phase, the, players de the phasing player designates with each charging unit or stack of units that will charge, each charge to resolve separately, and it basically goes through and it, and it gives you some indication of what's going on with it. Infantry units are standing or forming square, and it's got sort of a synopsis of what's happening. And so if you're trying to figure out some stuff with the rules or find something in the rules, this is a great way that you can do that. Now, in addition to that, then it's actually, as you start to put questions in and it kind of gets familiar with what's going on with the source material, it can then give you suggested questions like, here's some down here. What are two major charts referenced in the Machinations of Fate section? Um, then how does a unit's morale affect its combat capabilities? Well... And then what are two options infantry has when facing a cavalry charge? So if we go ahead, and let's just go here and click on this one for morale effects and see what it brings up. And it's thinking about it. You can see it's thinking about it here. And here you can kind of see. All right, here we go. Um, so we've got... That's the sequence. Where are we? Let's see if we can scroll. Cavalry readiness. Okay, so um, good order, disorder, routed, cavalry morale, artillery morale, uh, factors affecting morale, cavalry charges, combat results, stacking limits, leader casualty, force marches, recovery of morale. So it's got all of that. It just pulls up a nice summary of all of that material. Oh, come on work with me here. There we go. All right. And then you can save the note or you can get rid of it. You can say, yeah, that's interesting. I want to see that. Um, and, and then it also can come up with other questions or you can combine this note with other notes that you have, right? So it, you can type in whatever kind of question you want. Let's see. When infantry battalions considered ineffective, Right, or you can say, um, let's try something interesting here. Uh, what is the best way to defeat an infantry unit? Hmm. We'll see if it can think of that for a little bit. It might need more data, so maybe something from another source might be helpful, but. We'll see what it comes up with just looking at the rules. All right, and let's see what it came up with here. So let's scroll up a little bit. Oops. All right, so most effective, cavalry charges, right? Uh, that's one option. Oh, come on. Concentrated firepower, flanking maneuvers, combined arms, massed targets, morale manipulation, leader casualties. So it's got some different things here that, um, and then it's got a note. Success in Labatai requires a nuanced understanding of the interplay between unit capabilities, morale, terrain, and tactical opportunities. By mastering these X elements and exploiting the vulnerabilities of your opponent, you can achieve victory on the Napoleonic battlefield. So, uh, here's some interesting things to look at. <laughs> okay, so that's just a little taste of what this um, software can do. Uh, I had a friend who plays, I think it's Warhammer, and he put in the rules for Warhammer, and he put in a whole bunch of other stuff, and he was able to ask it for, okay, optimize a army for me using, I don't know what, the undead, blah, 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 and 2,000 points. And then, boom, it kicked out an army um, with this, and he said, oh, okay, now add magical items. And so it's capable to do all kinds of stuff. Um, I've only just started messing with it, um, so it'll be interesting to see what it can do. Um, but I thought from the point of view of being able to find maybe answers to questions that we have, particularly in some rules that get to be a little uh, challenging, um, it has an ability maybe to um, 
in a concise way, um, clarify things. So if you have a situation, say, with cavalry charges, and you want to get a better handle of how it works, well, this might be a way to do it. It's then going to come through and it's going to put things maybe in uh, a way that's uh, uh, formatted, uh, easier for you to follow along, um, since it's just dealing specifically with that question. Um, and so whether it's with, you know, uh, Labatai rules or some other rule set, um, then this might be a way for you to uh, get to learn the rules a little bit better or understand the rules a little bit better and have this AI kind of go through and, uh, and do some sorting and sifting for you. So that's about it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what you think about this, and if you've messed around with this or other AI stuff in the past. Um, but once again, it is Google, and it's called Notebook LM. And I'll have a little link in the comment section below. Until our next episode, everybody, uh, be well and keep playing. Bye.